Now, Dr Alex is with me and he's got a big new role this morning. We're all very proud of him. Yesterday, he met with Boris Johnson, who has appointed him as Youth Mental Health Ambassador, following his campaign for better mental health education in our schools. I'm so, so sorry Thank you. about that, uh, Alex. And uh, I, you know, I, I can only imagine what it, what it must be like to, use a, to lose a, a younger brother like that. But it's fantastic that, you're, that, you're, that you're, you're doing it. It's a massively important issue for our country. There are, there are simple things that you can help to, to teach us all. I'm very, very, very grateful. Thank you. Let's, Thank do some, you. let's make some change. Well, Alex's campaign is inspired, of course, by the death of his little brother who took his own life due to mental health. And today, Alex's mum, Jane, is sharing her story for the very first time. Hey, ma'am, how are you? I'm all right. Ma'am, this is uh, obviously a very important week. It's Children's Mental Health Week, which is uh, an area obviously very close to our hearts. I think we're about six months or so now since Cleo passed. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's been a very difficult six months, hasn't it, for us as a family? Beyond. Absolutely beyond. I think that's the only way you can describe it, to be honest. It was such a shock for us all. We, we didn't see any of it coming. I think often people think it won't happen to us, it won't happen to our family. We are the first line of defence as parents and we have a duty to know how to have these conversations with them effectively, to spot those signs. Hindsight is a terrible, terrible thing. Um, and you look back and think, oh my gosh, you know, I've, you know, I missed opportunities to, to do things and they, that would, would have made a difference. I always say that what mental health doesn't affect one in four, it affects four in four, it affects mm. everyone. Everyone has mental health. We all need to be able to look after ourselves. We also need to be able to spot the signs and look after each other. I think a lot of that does, of course, start, start at schools. And that's obviously why you know, I've been focusing so much on, on this campaign. You've been doing absolutely amazing. My God, I, we, me and Dad and Elliot, we're so, so proud. And Cleo, looking down, you would be so, so proud of what you're, of what you're doing. You know that means a lot to me. And I think, you know, I want to make you guys proud. And I think we've had a realisation throughout this pandemic how much mental health affects everyone. And you've been doing incredible work as well. So I am really proud of it for mental health. It all started from a conversation I had with my friend Ruth. She said, either start doing jigsaws We'll start knitting. Well, I'm useless at jigsaws, as you know. <laughs> so knitting was the option. I started selling it, but I, I um, included a message around mental health, which I think resonated with a lot of people. You put a call out on Instagram. And after that, hundreds of people volunteered to knit. We have one product, which is wrist warmers. Look. Unbelievable. They're beautiful, aren't they? So all of the proceeds from that we Good raised from this We'll go to mental health charities. There was an article that said that knitting is as good as yoga, apparently. Yeah. Well, ma'am, it's mindfulness. I mean, whatever you are taking a moment in time where you're focused on yourself, whatever you're doing, whatever you like to do, it brings you out of the stresses of everyday life, out of all this that's going up here and into that precise moment that you're in and brings you calm and peace. And that's what it did for you. I know, ma'am, how important this is to you. It really means the world to you and dad, doesn't it? It's uh, what's helping us um, in get, getting through what we have to go through, um, just feeling that in some way we're helping someone else. Um, and if we prevent anyone from going through what we're going through, then you know that, that would be a, a huge achievement, to be honest. Um, and, and it's amazing how these small things just make a huge difference. Take him, I hope I'll get to see you very soon. It's been a while. Yeah, love, love you. you. Bye bye. 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 Well, Dr. Alex is here. Your mum is remarkable. Finding something so positive out of the, the worst, the worst tragedy. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of Dad and Elliot as well. The, the way they've tried to lift themselves and Mum, you know, started Knit for Mental Health with just simply wanting to do something to distract herself from, yeah. from what she's feeling. And, and the fact that that's brought people together now, there's uh, people across the country who are knitting with her and people saying thank you because actually this gives us a purpose yes. and a passion, which is what we've been talking about over the last few weeks, of course. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I, I'm so proud of her. She's doing an amazing job. And, and then you've got a pair of gloves yourself, haven't you? I have. You know what? They're perfect. See, when you're taking... You know when you've got your phone and you've got your dog and you've got everything else and, it, and you need your, you need your, your handies. Fingers. You need your fingers to be able to do it and yet they keep you really warm. So thank you, thank you to your lovely mum. And she's just, she's just doing a great job. And it just shows you that even in the darkest times, you can actually look ahead. And this is why the new role that you've got is so very important. So you met, the, I know you've been saying you want to meet the Prime Minister, you finally got that chance. So how was it? 
honestly unbelievable. Um, you know, I've been campaigning now since the uh, beginning of, of, of January. I've been working very hard behind the scenes, you know, with Lorraine show, raising awareness around this, finding out information from schools and teachers and, you know, finally launching this campaign really at the start of the month. And it's just been the most incredible journey. We, we posted on social media that the response was incredible. And then number 10 actually directly reached out and said, look, we've seen the campaign that you're, you're doing. We've seen you speaking on, on the show. We'd, we'd like to talk further. And I've been spending the last few weeks discussing with them, talking about the things I'd like to do and things I'd like to change, especially around you know, education, supporting yep. teachers' mental health, supporting children's mental health. And I got the call um, last week saying, uh, the Prime Minister would like to, to see you and speak with you. Um, which obviously, you know, I'm a little boy from West Wales, it's not something you ever expect to happen. Um, and before I, I, I knew it, um, I had a, an appointment with him uh, yesterday uh, at number 10 uh, Downing Street. And uh, we sat down, we, we talked about how important it was mm. that we supported mental health. I really kind of got across my passion around that. Um, and he said, we'd, we'd like you actually to take on a role uh, as an ambassador. It's fantastic. Um, it really you know, is. And I really, really, I'm, I'm so honoured to have this opportunity where I feel like I might be able to make some change. You know, I wake up every morning, I think of Clear every morning. Of I course. really do. Uh, and I feel like when I wake up now, I think, actually, I've got something I can really do and I might be able to help other people. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's his legacy. It's, mm. it's doing something in his name. Mm. And, it, and it, it must help. It must help you and your mum and the rest of the, the family. What's going to be your if you like, the, the thing that you want to get off the ground quickly, because I know it's mm. difficult yeah. times, isn't it? And you do have your other job. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also busy. Oh, yes, working well, in any. I mean, my role starts from now. Um, right. I, it starts straight away, and I, I think that the, the first things we need to do actually support children going back to schools, because that's going to be something that we're talking about, you know, imminently. And, sure. uh, you know, the plan is hopefully to get children back to school as soon as possible, but they need support. You know, they've... Children across the country have been so resilient, but at the same time, it's been such a difficult time. It's hard enough as adults, as we know, oh, but for children gosh, who maybe don't fully understand what's going on or how to deal with it, we need to look after them. Mm. So we want to implement and help implement support when they go back to schools. And of course, we'll be working around policy on, 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 on education um, uh, uh, as well over the coming months. Look, some things are going to take time, that, that's for yeah, sure, but I'm going to work very hard and do my very best to bring some change and I really hope for anyone sat at home that might be struggling with mental health or anyone that's know someone, I hope this gives some optimism. You know, I really care. I'm going to be in there doing my best. I'll move mountains if I have to, and I'll, I'll try and bring some change. But I want to say as well quickly, Lorraine, thank you to you, uh, the rest of Lorraine's show, uh, you know, Victoria, to Helen, to James, the, the team members, people behind the scenes who actually work very, very hard on this. It's not just on camera. There's people working very hard to make this happen, and I actually don't think it would have happened without Lorraine show support, oh, so thank you. Thank you, love. But, uh, well, we're just so proud of you, we really are, and you can you. tell your passion. And you're right, you know, what we want to prevent is another pandemic, particularly amongst young people, of mental health Absolutely. problems. We want to make sure that, you know, nobody ends up so desperate that mm. they, they take their own life. And we, we really have to talk about this more and, and make a real change and take the stigma away we and the to. shame away. We have to, and that starts in schools, that starts with education. You know, we will we'll make it happen. It, as I say, it will take some time, but uh, I think this is a pivotal moment. The whole country has realised that mental health isn't one in four, it's four in four, it's everyone. We've yep. all experienced it, Lorraine. We've talked oh, about how gosh. hard this has been. Yeah. You know, you're coming here to talk about, you know, the stress and the situations and break news every day. You know, it's hard on everyone. Mm. Uh, and I re think recognising that and realising that is so important. And actually, the government going, do you know what, we'll, we'll give you this role as ambassador, which has not been done before, it's something that's new. Um, is kind of hopefully saying a precedent from the top that this does matter, this is yeah. important, and that we will put that up there, you know, in terms of how much it matters for the country, I hope. I More really hope. power to you. More <laughs> power to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Obviously, much. we're going to give you any backing that we possibly can, but I thank know. you so, thank so you. much. And if you are struggling with your mental health, and I know a lot of you are, or you maybe know somebody who is, do talk to them. You'll also find support and helplines on our website, of course, and ITV's Britain Get Talking campaign too, to encourage us all to do just that. Right, it, don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.